Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Lancaster Classic. Now I'm going to start off with archer registration, and that is right behind me, so let's take a look. <laughs> So, Archer's registration was broken down into uh, alphabetical order. So based on where your name is on the alphabet, uh, dictated which line you got in, which really made it simple. So now we're gonna walk down the hall behind me here and we're gonna check out the official shooting arena that the shoot takes place in. We'll also be checking out the practice range, the vendor area, and where the head-to-head -head finals are shot. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now, just a note, um, some of these clips were taken uh, like before the shoot started and others were taken during the shoot. So you'll see an influx of people and uh, this hallway is not usually this empty. So as we get up to the main arena here, um, there's technically only one way you can go, uh, and that would be right. But uh, later in this video, I am going to take you to the left, up where the seminars and stuff are. It also has a really great view of the whole shoot. But first, let's start off with the blue range. Now the Blue Range is the largest range and it's the, called the Blue Range because, yes you guessed it, the floor is blue. This shooting range was the largest of the two shooting ranges. The Green Range is only about half that size. Uh, we will take a look at that, but before that enjoy some clips from the Blue Range. Also, on a very important note, on the Blue Range was the LAS trailer, full of all those things your wallet really doesn't want you to buy, but you probably need to have. And now we're going to head down to the practice range. We will be checking out the vendor area, the green range, and the shoot up finals location later. Okay, so here is the practice range. As you walk down, you're like, oh, this might be a little small. And then you turn the corner. And as you can see, it, uh, it opens up to a pretty big area. Uh, there's a lot of shooters shooting here. And uh, it was quite busy at times, but they did have a good amount of bales to practice on. And uh, there was also an area to store your bow cases. And now let's take a look at the vendors area. Now this is a, uh, you know, kind of bird's eye view of the vendor area. But uh, there was a good amount of vendors here. Um, it was really nice to see. Uh, it was a good way to check out some, you know, new equipment. You could even get to meet the people that, you know, make some of the products that you may use on your bow, which was really cool. It was just a great way to see the industry side of archery. 
They also had Meet the Pros. So at Meet the Pros, you got to meet, uh, you know, some of the uh, best pro archers uh, in the world that were at uh, this tournament. So, you know, shooters like Brady Ellison and Mackenzie Brown and other archers as well. Now, right after the vendor area was the green range. And here is the green range. It was also very cool that there were sponsors just for the bare bow division. And there was also a, uh, a guy there that runs a podcast, The Push Archer. Uh, so it was really nice to meet him. I also got to meet a whole bunch of fans of, uh, you know, this this channel, Short Shot Archery. So it was really great meeting all of you. Um, I really had a great time. All right, and now we're gonna to go to the finals area. There were also monitors set up so that you could keep track of you know, everybody's placement, uh, especially since there were many lines. You could kind of follow and see, ooh, you know, so and so shooting really good. They're gonna go and out shoot who's in, I don't know, second or first place. So that was a, a really great uh, thing to have. All right, and here is the finals venue. A uh, really nice setup, and this venue really filled up uh, when the finals went down as you could probably see in some of these next clips. Also, if you were unable to make the tournament, they had a, a live feed going and they had live commentary on what was going on uh, you know, during the shoot. So here I was spying on Teresa Johnson and Chuck Cooley as they were doing their live uh, broadcast. So that pretty much uh, finishes this tour of the Lancaster Classic, but I want to take you to one other place, and that is up on the mezzanine. Uh, there were seminars held up there. Uh, they had times and everything on all the seminars so that you could try to schedule it around you know, your own personal practice and try to fit it around uh, your assigned shooting time. So from up here on the mezzanine, you really got a good look at the shoot. So this is how I got some of the aerial shots for the video. No. This is how I got some of the up above shots uh, for this video. Uh, it was just a really great opportunity to, to be able to video so many archers shooting at once. And uh, it was a great way to show the size and like just the scale of the Lancaster Classic, and hopefully it really helps put together, uh, you know, a full picture on how massive this tournament is, and hopefully it makes the layout of it a little more clear. Well, that wraps up this tour of the Lancaster Classic. Hopefully you found all this information really informative and helpful, and you know maybe you want to uh, you know go and check it out next year. Uh, so I'll have a link to Lancaster Archery, who hosts the Lancaster Classic, and uh, from there you can get some additional information and things like that. Maybe you can find out if the Spooky Nook Sporting Complex is within driving distance of your house, or if it's like an easy plane flight away. But other than that. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting.